good afternoon all i hope you had a sumptuous lunch you are not sleeping and professor rale has given nice introduction in fact the now i have i am at a crossroads where i keep on speaking to you on many aspects but there are certain things which are not listed in the books so the endeavor of this phd clinic is to tell you something which is not recorded in any books and maybe me maybe your supervisors maybe your deans maybe your colleagues all those things uh, all those people are <clears throat> time and again telling you uh, that no do this do that and uh, there is no formal way though in induction program we teach you many things we try to guide you through many processes which are centralized but still there are many hiccups so essentially what i am going to do in this 16 17 slides is what hiccups are there in your journey that i will try to explain i have been given a time of about 30 minutes followed by 5 minutes of uh, question answers and definitely there is going to be a panel discussion wherein please feel free to pose questions now this slide i have been speaking to you people during induction and on many fora what is the basic purpose of enrolling for a symbiosis phd for or any other phd so the first ever thing which i want to impress upon and this is there in the definition of phd program of indian institute of science is to, and many other universities to contribute to the body of knowledge in a particular discipline you have to contribute you may say that i know there is already a lot of knowledge what i am going to contribute you may contribute a small thing so contribution of a small piece of knowledge to the existing knowledge base is exactly the purpose of phd program you may discover new facts in the scientific study now i'll quote you one example here there are many molecules but still we keep on discovering new things in fact there is a science called as qualitative structural activity relationship wherein if you just make a different arrangement of molecule the food molecule become poison molecule and vice versa or it may become a medical molecule for us you may tweak certain systems and have a new supply chain management system so like that there may be new models new molecules new discoveries new statistical tools so on and so forth which we would like to discover during the fact of during the journey of a phd some of you may like to collate old facts and do certain critical investigation now don't forget the word critical don't do investigation we are not policemen we are going to do a, in, an investigation which is critical in nature so we always ask you a question what is your hypothesis what is your research methodology is your research methodology unbiased is your sample good enough to see that there is no bias and your results can be trusted so that is the purpose of critical investigation also to undertake scientific inquiry as objective as possible in order to reduce the bias with this four or five objectives if you start your journey many of you are already started many of you are new entrants to the phd program and if, as long as you are having these many these many goals or these many objectives or either of these objective you will be on a right track now the title given to me and what we have deliberated was what are the hiccups before enrolling for the journey now don't do phd if you are checking the tick boxes that no i have earned all the degrees and only phd degree is not there so don't do phd because you want to tick mark the all the check boxes you have to do the doctoral degree for the quest of knowledge and if you just go to the word philo and sophia the one of the meaning is love towards the you know knowledge so sheer love towards the knowledge is a basic purpose you can expect to work on multiple projects beyond your dissertation work now let us say a person is working let us say if i take, i am a mechanical engineer i am taking a topic of mechanical engineering i may have to learn programming i may have to learn how to make, make a questionnaire i may have to learn certain statistical tool i may have to learn certain writing styles in fact i have myself learned many programs and i can write down a code of about 300 400 line 
without anybody's assistance and the examiners have asked this question to the students come on you have found out the data make a flow chart i am telling you new sub routine make a flow chart can you write down a code this kind of questions will be posed by the examiners to you and that's how you have to work on multiple projects which may not be exactly on your doctoral work and that's how some independent studies you have to do during your course work there is a course to be supervised by the supervisor and to be evaluated by the supervisor one subject you have to learn on your own which is nearer to your doctoral degree program so i have learned how to you know take multi criteria decision making i have learned multi criteria decision making technique though it is a subject in the manufacturing discipline i have learned it and applied it to the energy engineering area so you have to always learn something which is additional it is about proving to the world that you can do a cutting edge research phd starts after you have been awarded degree in fact we have a convention in scri whenever you apply we call you to be candidate whenever you are admitted we call you to be student and whenever you are awarded we call you to be scholar so if you are calling yourself to be scholar today thoda rukiye थोड़ा रुकिए डिग्री लीजिए फिर हम आपको स्कॉलर कहेंगे एंड देर विल बी थ्री स्कॉलर्स हु हैव गॉट पी एच डी फ्रॉम अस एंड दे विल बी शेयरिंग द जर्नी विथ यू इन दिस ऑडिटोरियम यू मे सफर फ्रॉम द इम्पोस्टर जोन नेक्स्ट में अच्छा यू मे सफर फ्रॉम द इम्पोस्टर सिंड्रोम बट यू नीड नॉट बी जीनियस टू बी गेट अ पी एच डी मेनी टाइम स्टूडेंट they say that no i am not so genius no don't consider no we don't require much genius people to get a doctorate degree an average person can easily get a doctorate degree an average person can supervise extraordinary fellows like you i am the average supervisor can supervise extraordinary researchers like you if i can do phd if i can supervise phd you are all extraordinary in front of me why can't you do it with with this spirit if you work then phd phd will be not a very far far dream for you you will be definitely inshallah getting the degree in 3 4 years time you have to devote many times you have to devote about 4 to 5 years of time and please don't worry about sir mera rs nahi hua mid review nahi hua you are not conducting my presentation i want you people to start about your journey of investigation from the day one the moment you got admission your topic should be ready your proposal should be almost ready no extensions no extensions for course work or anything should be there asked to me so you have to attack many things simultaneously you need not be called an as an expert in your area you need not become specialist rather you should become philosopher in your area and that's how you should be ready to be a lifelong journaler uh, lifelong learner during if you are taking up a phd program uh, i have collected this information from some other sources wherein uh, can you yeah. yeah now what kind of characteristics you should have if you want to take up a phd program you should have academic capability to do it you should know some basics of your subject that's how the qualifying examination is taken that's how net set m phil these are all eligibility criteria so some academic capability has to be there academic ability has to be there you have to be accountable to your topic you have to take ownership of your topic rather your supervisors also have to take ownership of your topic so both student and supervisor should be ready to take ownership of their topic definitely you will get phd degree in maybe 3 to 4 years persistence perseverance and commitment this need not be spoken they are the most good writing and communication skills are must i came come across many student they say i can speak nicely but i, I am very poor at writing no it will not work what is writing paper what is writing proposal what is writing thesis writing 3 4 lines during the day scratching of everything and rewriting new lines at the end of the day this goes on and on in fact the kind of the research proposal which you give me 
I am expecting that you and your supervisor should iterate the research proposal minimum 30, 30 times. Minimum 30 times. 30 times. And if the student says, Sir, Madam, I am fed up with this kind of job. I am not going to do PhD. And even if I do it, I will not do under you. This is the biggest compliment to the supervisor. <laughs> do it like that. I ask the feedback to my students. How many times the proposal has been reiterated? Two bar, three bar, many times. No. I expect 30 iterations of the proposal and definitely many iterations of the thesis because thesis is a product which goes to the examiner <coughs> for the purpose of examination. So good writing and communication skills are the must. And the writing which you are doing is in an argument building way. So there is a way to write down a textbook and a thesis. So thesis is always written in an argument building style. There has to be cohesion. The first chapter, second chapter should be linked to each other. So many things are to be done. Time management is the biggest job. If you are doing experimental PhD, time management becomes a very, very crucial job. In fact, you may have to sleep in the laboratory. You may have to take readings and you may employ instruments, data logger and so many things, remote based data logger. You may have several things employed, but still you may have to monitor those equipments and time management becomes a very big job. In fact, uh, there are going to be sessions where the supervisors are going to speak about how do they manage the projects, etc. for equipment, etc. You have to be open-minded, you have to be passionate, you have to develop an ability to think logically, analyze the data, <coughs> and you have to be as objective as possible. And even if you fail, it doesn't make any difference. In fact, <coughs> I get many times, uh, the, uh, in, the, in the research advisory committee, in the meetings, uh, many times the uh, verdict given to the student is C. That is, the th uh, proposal requires major changes. And many students get dejected. It doesn't make much difference. Rather, it is a journey wherein the monitoring and you have been, you, know, you have got some inputs to improve upon. Similar thing will happen, you may get major revisions of the paper. If you work on the major revisions, then your you know, research will become that is what we call it to be peer review. So curiosity has to be there, love for learning has to be there, attention in detail has to be there, collaboration, resilience, and many characteristics are to be there with the PhD students. If at all, some of the characteristics are missing, you may try to pick up those qualities. It's a, it's a lifelong learning. If you are not knowing time management, better learn it now. Now, there are, uh, Professor Rai was mentioning fellowship. We do not have many students having fellowships. But I am dreaming of a PhD program wherein almost everybody comes with his own fellowship. And Symbiosis will not give fellowship to anyone. That's my dream. If I save money for Symbiosis, definitely the money will be transferred to my salary. That's the different part. But you should bring your own fellowship because it is more prestigious. So the university may provide some seed money to you. Government fellowships like UGC are very common, CSR, DBT, DST, Ministry of Renewable Energy. Some students are supported by projects. Now Prime Minister's fellowship is a very big and handy amount. Chief Minister's fellowship is there. Some law students have got Chief Minister's fellowship, Barty fellowship. So if you are a student, and SIU has not given you fellowship, don't lose your heart. Try to get some or the other an external fellowship. Facebook, Google, Nokia, Microsoft, these agencies are giving fellowships for specific areas and for the areas which are aligned with the you know, SDGs and like that. So explore the fellowship opportunity. In fact, I have come from a system wherein a faculty member would resign, become a fellow, get a degree, join once again to the institute. My dean's salary was 45,000 rupees per month. And that time, an ordinary PhD student, Microsoft fellow, was earning 60,000 rupees per month fellowship. So many lecturers, assistant professor resigned. They became no Microsoft fellow, Nokia fellow, Cisco fellow, earned handsome amount. 
they earn more than the dean join back the university after getting a wonderful no degree in hand and good publications in that hand so all those part timers they are not eligible but somehow if you can convert your part time program into full time program definitely you will get a phd degree early my only suggestion is come with your own fellowship now there are certain myths in the phd program this is also a collected data from different sources the first myth is i am not intelligent so i may not get a phd no you don't require to be intelligent so diligence is required intelligence may not be required okay in fact it is said in iit system it is said all extraordinary fellows are enrolled for undergraduate program all ordinary fellows are enrolled for postgraduate program and all below average students are enrolled for phd program and those who are much below them they become supervisors <laughs> is it so i am on the last side huh? below average person so you you don't require diligence you don't require intelligence what you require is a diligence you don't have to have very great ideas in your mind so I, doctorate is not about great ideas it's about small ideas which can be put to work my master the, my dissertation should be a masterpiece not necessary the publication should be good enough dissertation need not be masterpiece and if your publications are good automatically your dissertation will become a masterpiece so if you keep this thing in mind this is the myth in many universities across the globe if it is not the myth in symbiosis i am happy but assuming that you are thinking in the way rest of the people in the world's university are thinking so please remove this myth from your mind i want to write down a thesis on something which has not been done ever before i want to collect sample from mars is it possible no this is also one of the myth university rankings are very important no university rankings are not important rather ranking of your supervisor is important work with a supervisor whose citations are more who has guided many phd's and who is a known scholar in that area so don't look at the rank of the university and if at all such a supervisors are employed by the university automatically the rank of the university will be up so your supervisors ranking and involvement in your doctoral degree program is the key to success uh, then one more myth i have listed which is you no know, graduates who are not unable to find out a real job they become post docs no it's a focused career you want to investigate you want to continue studies uh, in certain particular area so post doctorate uh, studies are taken up anyway professor rai will be speaking on that uh, his experience of guiding post doctorates and doing post doctorates uh, having phd is enough to secure professional career again this is a myth uh, in fact many students uh, know many people were used to have msc me degree and they used to get assistant professor job now with many people having phd's and you know jjtu and cmj university you know distributing phd's like anything a day will come when phd's will not get a job so you have to have good publications good projects you have to have good projects on your name you should have good publication and your thesis should be a record of investigation in a particular area phd is a boring this is not true in fact there are some students who don't take interest while presenting their work it's your baby if you don't nurture your baby no how come you expect that your supervisor will support you or scri will support you or dean will support you many times our the research advisory committee members give wonderful suggestion and the scholars say no sir this is not doable suggestion it will take another four years to do this no you should not be lazy and you should not think that yeah, phd is a boring job no if at all you are thinking that phd is a boring job get a better to get rid of the boring job in the beginning itself as simple as that there are certain misconceptions which are the collection of thoughts which i keep on getting from you people i have long experience and i'll you know collate all these experience and make a doctoral dissertation out of it no what is missing here is the investigation 
you have to investigate in a particular area so long experience cannot be documented as a thesis sometimes no the state universities have made this i think misconception in the mind of people somehow i'll kill my 5 6 years and on the mercy of the university i'll get degree sir le deke degree dilwa do na no i'll pay for my analysis i'll get everything written from somewhere else and then uh, this is unethical practice you can't pay for analysis you can get academic help you can get academic help the, we are now launched a, a person is there with us now he is taking care of the statistical aspect so but then you will have to use certain techniques and whether those techniques are giving you the desired result or not unbiased output or not does it fit to your research methodology or not that dr vishal is going to take care nahi sir vishal sir aisa karo aap hi analysis kar do vishal is raising hand and vishal will not charge you anything he will give you free advice provided you do homework okay let me submit thesis i'll manage examiners no i am there between examiner and you and your supervisor <laughs> and there is a big trail so you can't manage the examiner even i can't manage anyone how about you i'll do some survey somehow anyhow analyze it सर क्वेश्चन बना दिया ग्राफ बना दिया पाई चार्ट बना दिया और क्या मांगोगे नो यू विल नॉट गेट पीएडी यू कैन गेट अ रिसर्च पेपर आउट ऑफ इट बट गेटिंग अ डिग्री विल रिक्वायर अ सब्सटेंशियल एनालिसिस एंड टाइम एंड अगेन लेट मी टेल यू योर वर्क द रिसर्च मेथोलॉजी शुड बी अनबायस एंड योर रिसर्च शुड बी ट्रस्टेड इनफैक्ट देर इज अ इंटरचेंजेबिलिटी इन और मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वॉच केस बैक कवर ऑफ योर एनी टाइट एंड वॉच विल फिट इट टू इच अदर इफ द शेप इज अलाइक so there is a interchangeability and we play in microns isn't it so even if you take the sample from some other territory your result should be more or less same so precision accuracy all these terms we keep on speaking please think about it i can't uh, give answer to everything today i'll use all possible statistical tool ye bhi karunga wo bhi karunga mean bhi lagaunga mode bhi lagaunga standard deviation bhi nikalunga diagram bhi karunga so that my thesis becomes hefty no i will compile everything which is available i'll purchase a industrial stapler bind a thesis cover chada denge de denge no it will not work in fact i have issued a guideline introduction 10 12 pages literature survey 20 20 pages research methodology 35 pages result discussion 90 pages conclusion 10 pages future scope half page references 150 similarity less than 10% that's it I got a thesis from a student. His literature survey out of 160 pages was 145 pages. 145 pages literature and rest of things are certificate dedicated to my mother, mother-in-law, daughter, daughter-in-law. <laughs> What nonsense! Don't write down anything in the introduction. See, your introduction should be a typical introduction, like that. Huh? i keep on speaking these things but then this is a wonderful opportunity i should not miss it so misconception should be removed huh? please now there is a chinese study and we can trust the chinese study here <laughs> <laughs> so there is a legitimate peripheral practice there is a legitimate peripheral practice and there is a system which somebody has studied in china and what they have found out is majority of the phd dropped outs are there in the beginning years so 2022 batch 21 batch maybe 20 batch all of you are calling yourself to be covid batches i don't call you to be like that so these are all beginners and there is a study which find states us that statistically they have proven that maximum dropouts are happening in the very beginning so what they uh, the model is saying i will not explain each and everything what they say that uh, what the model says that a student comes with certain background certain capabilities certain predispositions and certain expectations now all of you are coming with all these thing i have explained you you are coming from a different background different capabilities different dispositions and different expectations now mixed crowd is there in front of us 
and in the PAD clinic we are supposed to give you solution a vaccine for certain purpose maybe a remedy isn't it remedy severe then I so that no your syndrome goes away so there is a system doctoral program has got two aims there is an academic professionalization which you have to learn and scholarly socialization which you have to learn so keep these two goals academic professionalization and scholarly socialization now to enable all these things and this is called as a bigger academia to enable all these things you have to have a learning engagement so engage yourself with learning engage yourself with learning now how it will happen normally there is a difference between a taught program and a learned program if i am taking your thermodynamics classes i will tell you energy exergy all these things but then this is a learned program you have to learn on your own and everybody's learning is different <coughs> and everybody's learning is is with his own pace then enriching experience you have to enrich your experience by interacting with scholars please interact with scholars of similar area research engagement you have to engage yourself into a researching atmosphere and then the advisor guidance is also there so if you engage yourself into this ecosystem then you will become a scholar which is a committed scholar you will learn certain values from us the doctors doctorates which are graduates from our university or any other university we expect them to follow certain norms and conventions people expect doctorate degree holder to be having certain ways of speaking interacting that qualities you must imbibe then competency standards you have to become competent in your area you have to catch up the norms otherwise there are graduates from universities and they are doing unethical practices so we don't want any unethical graduate to graduate from our university values and cultures are to be built up and everything will come if you are committed to your profession so now this scholarly engagement and adoption and integration is the most important job now the more the more and more you engage yourself with peers in your area then you will develop the capability of this type so my suggestion is if there are five scholars under me all the five scholar should listen to all the presentations of my students you should take part in the departmental presentations even if you are a part timer you please participate in the departmental presentation and whenever you come to siri for no making a presentation rac mid review pre submission you should have done lot of peer presentations before coming to us i'll tell you my example here i had given a presentation in center for energy studies i had given presentation in mechanical department then i came to research and development cell of the university similar people were sitting everywhere and they have agreed me finally in the r and d presentation so this happens okay so i will skip this two slide because this is the explanation of uh, whatever i have spoken and this slides anyway will be circulated to you people so this is a legitimate peripheral practice a learned program now uh, you may fail and the attrition rate is about 33 to 50 percent 33 percent to 50 percent is a failure rate to begin with you basically fail to understand the difference between a learned and a taught program and what our observation is people are trying to give lot of importance to the coursework don't give too much importance to the coursework it is a prerequisite you have to do it don't overdo it my suggestion to you is attack your research problem as early as you can i want to learn everything during pad no you can't, you can't learn everything during pad many students try, fail to understand and utilize the fellowship period judiciously don't misuse the fellowship period in four years the university is giving you four years fellowship 2 plus 2 you have to complete pad in this 2 plus 2 years target it and don't try to be perfect don't try to be perfect the perfectionism sind good enough is better than having perfection and you may not achieve perfection 
don't keep your aim to be very low and the biggest problem we ever face from the part time student is they don't communicate with their supervisors these complaints are very common sir the student is not communicating with me at all so this kind of things should not happen and majority of the reasons that the supervisors lose interest in you and they have given you a typical problem on which they really want investigation to be done they can't give it to someone else and you are not doing it you have taken a problem on which a degree can be given and you are sitting on that problem how how supervisor cannot have n number of problems at hand so these are the reasons for failure communication being the major there are supervisors who are absent who are not knowing there are supervisors who are overbearing there are supervisors which are retiring changing and there is a ecosystem in symbiosis who takes care of that and we are doing lot of sessions with the supervisor so that they can be brought in line with whatever is the university is thinking continuous you know, learning of supervisor is also being done so don't worry about it but what we can't you know take care here is different varieties of supervisors some supervisors are perfectionist some people supervisors are casual some people want meetings in person some are okay with you know, google meet and zoom meets so you'll have to deal with different personalities uh, professor patil is going to talk about the topic which is being very crucial so i will not speak much about it don't take topics which are very common take your topic after thorough literature survey in fact there is a system in indian institute of science bangalore 150 written cards you have to produce and if you produce 150 written cards then only your topic is taken for approval and 600 cards if you produce 600 cards then only your thesis is reviewed by a committee in house committee so that system has to be there in place peer review i have spoken about peer review earlier you have to peer review is a key to success i have spoken to you before you come to us for research advisory committee meeting do a peer group presentation among the students of your supervisor in the department and then your focus thoughts come before the external research advisory committee with this i think i would go and i will give an epilogue over here you cannot create an experience you have to ha- go through the journey to have experience we obtain an ability conf- uh, to embrace new problems during the phd journey you may also have to discover new and efficient no effective and efficient there are two words effective and efficient ways of device solving a problem during the phd journey synthesis is the key in the beginning of the phd journey and we develop the mindset of continuous learning as long as you are ready to uh, no go through the mindset or have a mindset of continuous learning definitely you will be getting the phd degree soon so these are some of my thoughts to the beginners thank you very much for your patience hearing